What's up guys, Knife Fanatic here. Hope all of y'all are having an awesome day. Today we're gonna be looking at a fixed blade. This is from White River Knife and Tool. This is the White River M1 Backpacker Pro with textured black G10. Um, made in the USA. Let's see, leather honed, precision ground, hand finished. Yeah, really cool box. I really like this. Really nice. Let's go ahead and open her up. Let's see. This is the Vero Engineering Axon Mini, by the way. Wow, really, uh, really nice presentation here. I like it makes the uh, unboxing experience a lot more enjoyable looks like it's not sure there we go here looks like we have the uh, authenticity card or just a um, little card with the details on it stonewashed s35 yen blade blade length is three inches overall length is seven inches with the HRC of 59 to 60. And uh, that's it for this card. Here we have, what is this? Oh, I guess uh, instructions for the uh, Kydex sheath and how you can, all the mounting options. Cool. All right, let's get that out the way and Take a look at this knife here. Let's get the uh, chunk of wood out. Clean this up here a little bit. All right. Yeah, so let's go ahead and take her out the sheath. And really Really nice overall looking knife. White River here, S35VN blade, made in the USA. Oh my goodness, this feels absolutely incredible. Man, the ergos. Yeah, this feels really, really nice. This choil here. Like you're you're locked in with this knife right here. And then you can just get a really nice purchase on this entire handle. I like how it swells out towards the end. Yeah, this feels really good. Nice drop point blade. Full tank construction, as you can see. Looks like you can change out the scales if you want. G10 feels really good. A lot of traction on it. You can see this uh, kind of like this. Oops. I don't even know. I guess like a crosshatch pattern maybe. But it definitely has and provides a lot of traction. Yeah, that's really nice. You got a lanyard loop right there, but this finger choil is done really well. It's nice and chamfered and rounded off right there. There's no sharp edges, so your your index finger feels really comfortable in there. Yeah, that feels great. Man, this feels really, really comfy. Decent uh, sharpening choil, plunge grind. It's 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 all it's all right. It would have been nice if maybe they brought that notch a little bit higher, but it looks good. Looks good. But again, um, 
I've been really interested recently with uh, smaller sized fixed blades. And I think this is going to be another winner right here. We got, looks like a pancake style um, Kydex sheath here. But I plan on just throwing an ulti clip on this guy and just carrying it in my pocket. So we got the Slim 2.2 here. So yeah, I'm just going to take this, this guy off and throw the ulti clip on there. Carry it like that, but retention feels good. No rattle. Let's get a length measurement here. Overall, well, I kind of already read the specs, but seven inches overall with a cutting edge of three inches. The weight did it say the weight on this guy I'm not sure let's where to go the weight so without the sheath it's 3.2 ounces and with the sheath it's 4.8 Yeah, I can't can't wait to start carrying this and putting it to use, man. This feels really good, really nice. I've been really fascinated by these smaller uh, fixed blades, and this this definitely is a home run. I really like this a lot. Nice jumping here on the spine. Hey guys, let me know what y'all think of this. I really like it. So, uh, as always, hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Knife Fanatic out.